Hello everyone! Today's video is a whole house winter decorate with me marathon. I thought I would gather all of my winter decorate with me videos in one place for you so you can pop it on your TV or wherever you'd like to watch and get tons of motivation and inspiration for winter decorating all in one place. I hope you enjoy and don't forget to like and subscribe for more decorating inspiration to come. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Maple and Home. It is 2024 and today I am so excited to share some winter decorating inspiration for after Christmas with you. I always go all out for Christmas in my home and once the holiday is over I love to go in the complete opposite direction for the rest of the winter season and keep everything more minimal and open. I wouldn't call myself a minimalist necessarily but I do love having a little extra space and air to breathe for my family and myself after such a busy holiday season. I did take my flocked Christmas tree down off camera. It is a very heavy tree and I always need my husband's help to put it away and he doesn't want to appear on camera. So we did do that together before I started filming, but obviously that leaves a ton of flocking on the floor to clean up first before I start putting furniture back in this corner. While I'm doing that, I just want to take a quick second to say welcome if you're new to my channel and welcome back if you're returning. Thank you so much for watching this video and spending time with me today. My name is Amanda and I am a pregnant stay-at-home mom to currently two little boys. I love sharing all things home decorating and homemaking here on my channel and if you love all that as well, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you join me here on my channel as part of my YouTube family. Before I placed the furniture back in this corner, I started with my shelf, taking down all the stocking hangers and replacing the wooden trees and window arch with some wall art of a winter barn and my faux cedar trees from Hobby Lobby. All of these items were previously elsewhere in my home during Christmas, but I do like to move things around for the rest of winter for a little bit of variety and something new. If you do this as well, and even if you don't, but you're enjoying this video anyway, be sure to give this video a like down below. Now I am absolutely more than ready to get into the new year. Our family did have a rough couple of weeks at the end of December. If you've been following my channel for a while, you might have seen a video that I posted back in December announcing that we had twins on the way. And unfortunately, we learned since then that one of the twins no longer has a heartbeat, which has been really rough on us as a family. I don't mean to mention this to bum anyone out or upset anyone since I know that it can be a sensitive subject and talking about it certainly puts a damper on my spirit still. But since I did share the original news of twins here on my channel, I didn't want to let this go unaddressed for too long. I don't want to spend too much time on this, but please know that I am doing okay most of the time and doing my best to focus on the other baby who continues to thrive, and I have been assured there is no risk to moving forward. All of this to say I am completely ready to move into the new year. I need a little change of scenery in my home for sure. I added another blanket to the blanket ladder here and then on the bottom shelf of this lamp I added back my usual books that I have on display there as well as my basket of coasters. On 
On the top lamp shelf, I just added this plant from Amazon and a coaster for a simple look and then added back the pillow on the armchair that I had with it for Christmas. Here on the TV stand, I just left the candlesticks as before, but I took down the flocked trees as I wanted to take down anything with flocking, and I replaced them with my white target base and some faux winterberry stems. I did have some separate berry stems and a black color in this arrangement on my table for Christmas, but I did take those out so it would look less busy. Here, I originally put these candlesticks back, minus the candles, with a small pine tree for on top of the books, but I did end up switching them out with a single lantern instead, which you'll see later. I just thought the lantern was the more minimal option and more in line with how I feel after such a busy holiday. You have to let me know down in the comments. Do you prefer a more simple look after Christmas too? I always feel so overwhelmed by the end of the season for Christmas that I just can't have it any other way. I replaced the buffalo check blanket with my dark green fleece blanket for a little bit of color here on the kids' toy basket. I also turned the pillow around to the pattern side because I felt the words were just a little too busy. I did end up putting the buffalo check blanket on the couch. Here on my top floating shelf, I replaced the reindeer and flocked greenery with the window arch and the wooden trees that I originally had on my shelf above the armchair. I was at the wrong place at the right time Cause suddenly there you were with those bright blue eyes We were conversing into the night sky When you took my hand said let's leave now Don't wanna be shy I will let my guard down Don't wanna be shy about everything that was on our mind talking to you gave me butterflies then you took my hand said let's leave now My floating shelves are really the only spot in the living room that I think I might have gone a little bit overboard with the decor as I was trying to balance all the textures, colors, and greenery that I had going on and ended up with quite a bit more than I anticipated. Now it might change over the next couple of months before I get into spring decorating, but I also can't say I really hate it either at the moment. We'll see how long that lasts. I have been known to change my mind. sky I have ever seen The most colorful one like a dream You wake me up with a new white smile And I know I'm truly alive 
On one corner of the piano, I added my antique piano book from my grandparents and my copper canisters, while on the other side, I placed an Amazon plant inside my wood lantern from Kirkland's. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. I'm trying to make this darkness go away. I'll paint with colors and I'll sing until my lungs give out. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day. And I will leave my windows open so that I can hear the sound of people talking and the wind blowing in the trees. Oh, I will open up my eyes so I can see the light. Spread my wings so I can fly Oh, and the darkness starts to fade Feels like things are gonna go my way I'm gonna let the sun shine in the day I'm gonna let the past be filled with smoke And I will try to fix what has been broken over this cabinet, I moved these snowshoes down and placed my Simply Blessed sign that I've had forever now from Hobby Lobby over it. 
I then added some plain pine greenery in the vase next to the books, and I placed a small gray house on top of those two cookbooks. that is it for today. I hope you got all sorts of after Christmas winter decorating ideas from this video. I know I am so loving the extra room and space that I've created here in my living room. Be sure to like and subscribe down below as it does so much to help out and support my channel. I appreciate all of you so very much. I will see you in my next video for some more winter decorating in my kitchen. Bye for now. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Maple and Home. I am continuing taking down all of my Christmas decor today, and I'm focusing on cleaning and decorating my kitchen and dining room. Once again, I'm really looking to simplify all of my decor and focus on getting a little breathing room here in my home for the rest of winter. Now this will probably last only about a month here in the kitchen, as at the end of January to beginning of February, I like to decorate for Valentine's Day in this space, but I will certainly enjoy it while it lasts. I'm just starting out by taking everything out of my kitchen and giving my counters and backsplash a good cleaning. And while I do that, I want to take a quick second to welcome you to my channel if you're new and welcome you back if you're returning. I'm so thankful that you chose to spend a little bit of your time with me today watching this video. My name is Amanda and I am a stay-at-home mom to two little boys with another little one on the way. Here in my channel, I love to share all things home decorating and homemaking. And if you love all that too, be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. I would love to have you stay a while and become part of my YouTube family and community. I also want to say thank you to all of you who watched my last video and left such kind messages and comments there. All of your words you left really helped lift me up and I am so grateful for all the thoughts and prayers that you've been sending our way in this really kind of rough time for our family. You all really are the best, and I am so lucky and blessed to have such a wonderful community here. It really meant more than you know. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side, our fears are done. All the good times just begun. Hold on tight Found what we're looking for in life Call us crazy But things are finally right With you and I The future is bright oh, You and I, we got it oh, We don't need no
before I sleep. Hear the crickets, see the moon. Side by side and through and through. No limit to what we can do. Oh, we know what we have. Let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Oh, you and I, we got it. Oh, we don't need no more. Oh, even in the hard times. Once everything was kind of cleaned up, I started off with my pantry door. Originally, I was going to use a different basket, but I decided to keep this one and I placed a draping eucalyptus pick in. I like to try and keep mostly evergreen greenery out for winter, but I don't quite have enough in my collection yet, so I usually supplement it with lighter greenery picks like this. If you tend to mix greenery types in the winter after Christmas, or even if you're just enjoying this video and you don't do that at all, give this video a like down below to let me know. Keeping it simple here, which really is the theme of my winter decorating, I placed a couple lamb's ear picks into a small bud vase next to my salt and pepper grinders. I will try to link anything that I use that is available down below in the description in case you want to know where I got it from and I don't happen to mention it. These small lamb's ear picks are available at Hobby Lobby, for instance. This white phone jack outlet sticks out like a sore thumb here, so until I can get it switched out for a black one, I cover it up with this towel ladder, and I switched out my ski lodge towels for this simple green striped flower sack one from Target's Hearth and Hand line a couple years ago. Next to the ladder on a wooden riser, I placed a white house, a glass bottle with a small eucalyptus piece in it, and a small candle. I almost didn't put the house on, but only two objects felt a little off to me. I tend to think things look better in odd numbers. Now I really thought hard about not changing my tiered tray for the rest of the winter season. Also, I do kind of apologize here for the camera movement. I did not realize I had done that until I viewed the footage while editing. But I would have only needed to replace a couple of items since the tray was mostly winter themed rather than Christmas. But given the kind of December we had had, I decided I really wanted to go with a full scale change and go in a more everyday type of direction. I think I just really need a clean slate in my home for the new year.
Now, most of what I use on my tiered trays I get from Hobby Lobby or the Target Dollar Spot. Those are the two places most likely to have smaller items for prices that better fit my budget. If you decorate tiered trays, it can take a lot of different pieces and quite a bit of time to build up a collection, especially if you have a larger one like this or more than one. So I just don't want to be spending an arm and a leg while doing it. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile? Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on, I put my feet up, and we just sing along. On my kitchen rack, I kept my usual cutting board here, but I replaced the basket and flocked wreath with a gray striped towel like the one I used on my oven door handle and a mini lamb's ear wreath. And when I say mini, I mean really mini. It's like a little baby wreath. Don't you know that I would cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? Forever. For my shutters on either side of my coffee bar shelves, I use the mini evergreen wreaths that I picked up from Hobby Lobby on clearance after Christmas. Then on the top shelf, I started with a sign I picked up two or three years ago from Michaels. I really love this quote, and I feel like the silhouetted evergreen trees really work for winter. I added back my pitcher of wooden spoons, and then I just added a small Amazon plant since I feel like there needed to be some kind of green on the shelf, and the lighter color doesn't scream spring as much as a brighter green might. On the bottom shelf, I put back our container of coffee grounds, and then I added a gray stone church, some candlesticks, and a black and white buffalo check mug. On the back door, I just placed a simple lamb's ear wreath there for now. I know I have a second one somewhere. I might end up getting some ribbon and tying them together somehow to make a longer piece to go here. But if I do that, I'll probably wait until I decorate for Valentine's Day. I think the other one might be in one of my spring totes, so I have to find that first. For the table centerpiece, I just put this vase I found at a local antique market and I placed some faux eucalyptus branches inside. I really thought about not putting anything on the table just for ease of cleaning and a simple look, but I do love having some kind of arrangement or centerpiece on the table, even if it is just a simple greenery arrangement like this. That is all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And once again, thank you so much for watching and be sure to like and subscribe before you go. I've still got plenty of winter decorating to come and you won't want to miss it. I'll see you all in my next video.
Bye for now. Everyone. Welcome back to my channel Mabel and Home. I am continuing my winter decorating here in my home for the new year. I've really been feeling so energized and rejuvenated after taking all of my Christmas decor down in my living room and dining room and my kitchen and I can't wait to extend that to here in our master bedroom. Now downstairs in our main area I did keep out what evergreen greenery I could but up here in our bedroom I decided that I wanted to take all of it out. Some of it was already brought downstairs for use down there, but there is still a little bit up here. I just feel like going with some other lighter colored greenery. Of course, staying away from brighter greens that I know I associate more with spring and summer, which would bring a sense of peace and calm that I'm really looking for in our bedroom space. I'm just putting on some freshly washed sheets here on our bed and I'm keeping out the same comforter. I'm not quite ready to let go of our really warm comforter yet. We've still got some cold weather left here in Washington State in January and February. In fact, I think there's even some snow in the forecast for later this week. So this really thick comforter will be very much appreciated for another couple of months. I do want to take a moment here to welcome you to the channel if you're new and welcome you back if you're returning. Thank you so much for watching today's video and checking out my channel. My name is Amanda and I am a stay-at-home mom to two little boys with another baby on the way and due in June. I love all things home decor and homemaking, especially decorating for the seasons. So if you are enjoying today's video or you love all that as well, be sure to hit the like button and the subscribe button down below so you don't miss any of my new videos. I've still got a little bit of winter decorating to share with you before heading into Valentine's Day and spring not long after that. You definitely will not want to miss anything. After getting the comforter and pillows back on, I'm adding some light sage green pillows onto the bed. These are actually pillow covers from Ikea, and I usually save these for springtime up here, but I just love the calming color of them. It's exactly the vibe I am looking for right now. I'd really like to get some different pillow covers for spring up here anyway, so I think it'll work out just fine. I also always like to place a garland on top of our headboard, and this seeded eucalyptus garland is one that I picked up from Michael's two years ago. I think this color of eucalyptus is so perfect for winter. It's just the right soft cool green color.
After finishing up with the bed, I took down the Christmas tree in the corner. I did turn on the overhead light here, which is why the lighting is different. This was a really cloudy day, and we have pretty short days anyway here, so it was really starting to get dark at this point, and I didn't want you guys to have any trouble seeing. Dark and cloudy winter days like this make me so glad that I decided to paint this room white. It used to be painted, I think the color was called light French gray, from Sherwin-Williams like the rest of our house when we bought it, but I found that we just don't really have enough windows and natural light to sustain that color well. I can't really paint the main part of the house, but this white in here makes the whole room seem so much brighter during the long winter, the short days, and all the cloudy, rainy days we get. You had me at a low Cause where you go is where I go I don't need nobody else I got you And you got me too You can ride all the blue I wanna do what you want to we can leave and run away someday, someday. Now I did use gloves to tear this tree down. Last year when I took it down, I sliced my thumb pretty good on the tree stand at the bottom. So I really wanted to avoid anything that would repeat that. And I also used a hammer to knock loose the pieces of the stand on the bottom. It was just very tightly put together and I needed a little bit more leverage. Thankfully, it didn't need more than a soft tap. I was a little worried that I was going to break the plastic, but thankfully that did not happen. Hey, darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Let's get out, we can leave this city Let's drive to the open yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you on the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far
Here on my dresser, I switched out the Christmas runner for my everyday runner that I usually have out on this table. And I also put away my tiered tray as well. I do love having a tiered tray up here. I think it lets me have some fun with decorating without crowding up too much of the dresser. Our dresser does tend to be a catch-all of sorts for my husband and me. For the rest of winter, however, I really wanted to go simple instead. I'll bring my tiered tray back out for springtime, but until then, I'll enjoy a little bit of a less is more approach. So instead of the tiered tray, I put down a simple wooden tray from Kirkland's. I got it two or three years ago now, and I put the vase on it, replacing the cedar stems with some eucalyptus ones. I then just put a little riser down and a candle on top of that. The candle is from Bath and Body Works and is in the scent eucalyptus snowfall. It's still wintry, but it smells so fresh and clean. I also guess I've got some kind of eucalyptus theme going on. I just used the riser to make sure the candle was raised up enough to be seen as I do love the plaid pattern on the container. You're like a river in the dark Stand me right, you lit the spark And I can feel you tearing down every wall Opposite the tray, I just put down a stack of books and then placed a glass bottle with a single white floral inside. I wouldn't normally put a floral out for winter. I usually wait for spring for that, but I thought it just looked so perfect right there. Now, here on this bookshelf for the last couple of seasons, I usually decorated two shelves, this middle shelf and then the very top of the bookcase. But in the name of minimizing my decor for a while, I just placed some on the middle shelf. I did keep it pretty wintry here compared to the rest of the room with the wooden snowman staying and then adding some deer and a snowflake block from the tiered tray. I also used a cute vintage looking clock, though it is not vintage, it was from Target several years ago, and a basket with a little bit of soft greenery inside. The basket does have a bit of blue on it rather than black, but I'm not going to be too picky about it right now. Just when I need you you said sail and navigate oh, when I need you You lift me up till we levitate You're mesmerizing, hypnotizing My eyes are sick And that is everything for today's Decorate With Me. I really hope you enjoyed the video and be sure to hit the like button down below if you did. It means so much to me and really does help support my channel by letting YouTube know who else to spread this video out to. I'll see you all in my next video for just a smidge more winter decorating. Bye for now!
Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Mabel and Home. I've finally gotten to the last area in my home for winter decorating after Christmas. I did have a few things to take in from outside, but it was only a couple of things. Most everything out there is staying, so I already did all of that off camera. It does feel pretty good to have everything taken down and have a nice, simple look remaining. While I did end up using some evergreen stems in my entry, I did also use a lot of lighter colors everyday greenery as well but I did want to keep everything pretty neutral I'll start adding color back in as we move into spring I am keeping things simple here in this bench area. It's right next to the garage and so we use this area constantly as kind of a catch-all. I'm adding some of these cedar stems in the bucket for a simple look and then I do place a plant on the little end table that you saw next to the bench for just a touch of greenery in this space. I'm also adding a beautiful basket which is actually a part of Target's Studio Mickey spring collection this year. I put it on one side of the bench. I did eventually move it to the other side because the original spot I had it in was right under our jackets. We live in the Pacific Northwest. It rains a ton and so I didn't want our wet rain jackets to drip onto anything inside it. My oldest son is in kindergarten this year and his papers from school haven't really had a home yet. So I'm using this basket as a place for him to drop them in until I can get a chance to sort through them. The last thing I want is for a really cute art piece to end up in there and get water all over it. I am taking down the rest of the Christmas decor and doing a bit of cleaning here in the entry hallway. I just wanted to take a quick second to welcome you to my channel if you're new and welcome you back if you're returning. My name is Amanda. I am a stay-at-home mom to two little boys and we do have another baby on the way who will be here in June. I love all things to do with home decorating and homemaking and if you love that as well or if you're enjoying today's video definitely be sure to subscribe. I would love to have you stick around a while and join my YouTube family. I have got so much coming up for Valentine's Day and spring decorating as we continue into the new year and you won't want to miss it. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling. We could get out of town See the beautiful world around Wanna see it now Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far here above my entryway table, I added a eucalyptus wreath from Home Goods. I don't normally pull this out until spring, but I love having a wreath up in this spot. And my other lamb's ear wreath is kind of MIA at the moment. I think it's in the spring box of decor, which I haven't asked my husband to pull out yet. And I am not going to pull it out myself. It's just too heavy for me to lift right now. So I'm using this one instead. I don't think it's too bright green so it still works. I also love adding the Seasons Magnolia Journal issue into this mail sorter and I think the white on this winter's issue works really well with all of the neutrals and the greens, whites, blacks, all that jazz that I'm using. Underneath the wreath and key hooks I placed the usual books I have here and added my black wood links from Hobby Lobby on top. Up next is my tiered tray. This is a very small tray that I actually got from a friend of mine who was decluttering her home and didn't have a place for it. It is a little wonky on the top, but it sorts itself out usually after I place an item in the right spot. 
I kept this tray really neutral and went with an everyday type of look, though I did try to keep the greenery light rather than the bright greens that you might usually find in spring and summer. The little lamb's ear arrangement is a new one I picked up last weekend at the Target dollar spot. I absolutely love it. I'm really trying to increase my small plant collection because I want to be adding more greenery around my home. Unfortunately, I just don't have a green thumb at all. I am a terrible plant mom. I have killed every plant I have ever touched for the most part. So I stick with faux greenery inside my home and only do one or two real plants outside on my front porch. If I have too many real plants, I definitely forget to water them, which is why they don't live very long. sky I have ever seen The most colorful one I could dream You wake me up with a new white smile And I know I'm truly alive I want to save every moment now Hold tight my love we got this Here on the bottom shelf, I added a blanket and pillow in some neutral colors into the baskets to hide the shoes and odds and ends that we store in there. They are pretty full, so I do have to kind of wrangle the pillow in there to make it look right. I hope I don't scare you too much, baby. I wish to flatter, not a grenade. Since I met you, my life's like a train. Running smooth, I've been made for you. And when no one is listening. And that is all for today's video. It was definitely a short one, but I hope you enjoyed it all the same. If you did, I would so appreciate it if you gave this video a like down below. It really does more than you know to support my channel and lets YouTube know who else might enjoy it too and spread it out to them. I'll see you all in my next video. Bye for now.